Hi everyone, it's Alex and I have my, what is this, October empties for you today and my cup runneth over. So yeah, let's do this. Get this out of the way. I know you guys, yeah, see this in almost every video. It's a soft soap and soap, coconut and coconut and warm ginger. I've mentioned this. Um, few times now this particular scent but yeah it just smells really good I like the smell of coconut it does a good job of washing my hands so yeah that's the first thing just get that out of the way the next item is another one that I'm not going to talk too long about and it's the Sonoma Spa bubble bath um, I have one more bottle left but there's like this much in it so yeah after that yeah, I don't know where to buy Sonoma Spa because Walmart doesn't carry it anymore. And this is in the Japanese Cherry Blossom Cement. I liked it. It gave a lot of bubbles. Yeah, it just had a nice scent to it. Um, and I would compare it to the Bath & Body Works one. It's not exact exact, but pretty close. The next empty lasted me quite a long time. It's the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. And I would use this after I would wash my face with the Purity Made Simple. Just one pump would do it. Um, yeah, that's all I would need. And it's a very fine, grainy sand texture. And I just like scrub my face for like 60 seconds and it would do a good job um, of exfoliating. Sometimes if I wanted a deeper exfoliation, I would do this and then I would do, um, use like a stronger, like a thicker, grainier one. But I have repurchased this and they've come out with a new formula and it is so much better. It's thicker, it's a little more coarser and my skin feels like it's getting like a lot more exfoliated now and it has a slight citrus scent to it. Whereas this one I don't think had a scent at all. Not that I need a scent but that one, yeah, that one does. Or do they add vitamin C? I'm not sure which one it was. I have a... Equate um, Original Clean Cleansing Towelettes, pack of 782. I usually get these in the two pack. Um, there's like hair sticking to it. These are really moist. They, yeah, they do a good job of cleaning my face off um, when I have makeup on. And yeah, I usually only need to use one and then I follow it up just, you know, with washing my face with soap. They don't dry out really fast. I just make sure I seal the package really good. Um, and that keeps them, you know, that keeps the, um, I don't know, that keeps them from drying out just fine. This packaging is looking a little rough, but it's just the cotton swabs, the White Cloud brand, 160 count. I just use this with the micellar cleansing water, got these from Walmart. They work pretty decent, they're really cheap couple bucks if that. I don't know if you can see the brand. Yeah, it's just White Cloud. I have a Vita Bath sample that I received in a daily goodie box, which I showed on my other channel, Lipstick Baby Doll. And this was in Cool Experiment and Time. And this worked okay. It worked just like a normal body wash. The scent was very refreshing because of the mint. Ooh, it is really strong actually. It's a strong scent. It's invigorating, so if you want like that invigorating, like a zing in the morning, I would recommend it for the morning time, like when you like want to wake up. But I did look at this. Um, it is a more pricier uh, body wash, so yeah. So it was nice to get to test it out, though. I just don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it yet because of the price of it. So I have some pocket packs in here. But I'll get those all out of the way. So I have a Tis the Season, which is a Christmas time one. It's getting kind of watery. And of course I would get it on my nose. But yeah, that one smells good. I have Beautiful Day in an old packaging, so I wanted to use that up. And then I have one in Wine Knot, which I really liked. Yeah, I just really like that smell a lot. And then I have a candle from Bath & Body Works. It's in Watermelon Lemonade, one of my favorite scents. Ah, 
doesn't smell good right now. It just smells of soot the moment I opened it. But um, yeah, I really like this. Just very sweet and smells really good. I have a Degree Deodorant in here, the Motion Sense, 48 hour and a perspirant and deodorant. This worked really well. You just twist it up. Um, it comes out, um, it's a white stick, but it goes on clear. Worked really good, kept me dry. I like that one a lot. I have a Salix C Eye Contour Cream. Not cheap, but I like to invest in skincare. That's why you don't see a lot of makeup hauls on here. Um, I just, yeah, if I'm going to choose between makeup or skincare, I'll invest more in skincare. So yeah, just a nice eye, eye cream, full packed with vitamin C, and yeah, I just dab it on around my eyes. I'm currently using up another one. It's a, um, it's the same size. Um, it's an eye cream by them, but a different... Yeah, a different, a different one, not the eye contour. I have a little sample of the Clean and Clear. This is from my Walmart box. A Deep Action 60 Second Shower Mask. You like get your face moist and you apply this and you leave it on for 60 seconds and then you scrub it in and rinse it off. I didn't really feel like it did anything for my skin a whole lot, so I won't be repurchasing it, but I tried it, you know. I got it as a sample, so why not? I also got this little Redken sample. I got this at the beauty supply store, not in a Walmart beauty box. It's the Extreme Iron Repair Heat Activated Protector for Distressed and Dull Hair. I really, really like this stuff. It comes out as a creamy lotion texture and you just rub it into your hair. Um, yeah, you apply it to towel dried hair. And yeah, you just do that right before you blow dry. Or you can let it air dry and then go in with your curling iron or flat iron or whatever you're going to do. But it just smells good. It makes your hair feel soft and, yeah, it protects your hair from the heat. So, yeah, I just have a few makeup items and then that's it. I have this Maybelline. I don't even know what this is. It's pretty much all rubbed off. Um, but it's in the shade. It's Maybelline the Elixir. In the shade Coral. Something Celestial Coral is think I think is what it was. I don't know if they still have these. But yeah, it looks like a lipstick or it makes it look like it has a lipstick bullet. But I really liked the applicator. It was very easy to apply. It's just very shiny and thick and yeah, I just like the texture of it. It was nice. So, I don't know if they would sell it or not. If they do, I wouldn't mind picking another one up, but in a different color. I have this NARS um, lip gloss that I've had for way too long. So, it's got to go. Yeah, because it's just the texture is getting weird. And the print is so small. Oh, well, I can read it this one. It's in the shade Angelica. So, it's like a, pur a pink with like purple undertone to it. Um, yeah, this came with, maybe I'll do a swatch. This came with a NARS Duo, uh, blush bronzer. Um, the blush Angelica and the contour was the, um, yeah, Laguna bronzer, whatever. <laughs> I couldn't think of it, but it came in a set, so yeah. That's it. And then the last thing I have in here is the Wet n Wild Mega Impact, which made no impact mascara. I was really disappointed. I just wanted to step out and try a Wet n Wild mascara. This was probably the first one maybe that I tried from them. I could be wrong because I don't remember the last time I've tried a mascara by Wet n Wild, but this one didn't do anything at all. And it has a big fat brush. Just kind of slight taper at the edge, but it just wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't build, it wouldn't separate, it wouldn't lift, it just didn't do anything. It was really cheap, you know. 
like under two dollars maybe so that's why I tried it I figured what the heck <laughs> So that's everything in my dirty Walmart bag. So I'm gonna toss this bag out. Did I say Walmart bag? I meant Bath and Body Works bag. Now those are all of my empties, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Yeah,